Hey guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. How are you guys doing? Hopefully well. Alright, so I know I've been kind of whining a little bit lately with, <laughs> with being bored with fragrances, specifically designer fragrances, and yeah, uh, the, feedback I, the feedback that I've gotten from you guys... Uh, a lot of you guys kind of agree. There's a lot that disagree as well, though, too, that, like, really love designer fragrances. And I guess, like, I don't really hate designer fragrances. I just find that... <sighs> I just, after a while, you know, flanker, flanker, flanker of every single popular fragrance from every single popular fragrance house is just going... Just, just going overboard with the flankers and it's just being really redundant, unoriginal, uninspiring, boring... And all that stuff. So you can agree, you can disagree, it's fine. But um, I've been really missing niche fragrances, to be honest. Not that niche is like the be-all, end-all of fragrances either, because there's a lot of terrible niche fragrances as well. But just like if I were to like choose between the two, uh, between current designer and current niche, I think niche is a lot more interesting. Not to say that they're all interesting. So I think you guys know where I'm getting. So, um, you probably noticed that I have a different hairstyle today. <laughs> my mom insisted, oh, look at my whites are showing. My mom insisted that she do a French braid on me. It's a little bit loose because she hasn't done it on me since I was a kid. But I think, see, it's, it's coming out now. It's because my hair is all different lengths. I had like a layered cut. So they're not really staying in, but I thought it was kind of fun. And uh, what do you guys think? Is this a look I should do often? <laughs> Does it age me? <laughs> okay, so let's get into this video. I will be just sniffing some random uh, niche samples from here. I have some designers in here as well, but most of them are niche. And if I pick a designer fragrance, I'll probably just skip over it and try to find another niche one. So this is just going to be uh, either first impressions or just my thoughts about the fragrance. Nothing too serious, not a full review. Some of them I have tested, some of them I have not. So it's just going to be winging it really. And here are the fragrances. So let's just get it right into it. Okay. You know, as soon as I opened it, I could smell like just a big, a nice combination of smells together. It smells really good, actually. Okay, so here's the fragrance. And this fragrance is called... I don't know if I'm going to say it right. Or if you can read it. This is Les Indies Galant by MDCI. So I have tried this fragrance before. I have tried this for the first time in Javoy, Paris. I absolutely fell in love with it, to be honest. And I haven't talked about it at all on my channel. I guess I was like maybe keeping it a secret. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I just haven't gotten around to it. But when I first smelled this, I was like really, really, really impressed by it. Oh my gosh, it's so, it's, it feels like liberating to smell something interesting again. So this smells like a spicy, woody, almost citrusy orange peel fragrance. And um, it kind of reminds me of, uh, of cloves as well, as well. So I'm thinking like a gourmandy, let me see, let me get my thoughts together. To my nose, it's kind of gourmand because it has that orangey smell in it, orange citrus smell. But it gets weighed down by this beautiful, like, cinnamony spice. And cloves, I think. I have no idea what the notes are in here, but it's just a beautiful, unique, different fragrance that uh, that is a lot different from what I've been smelling for the past two months. <laughs> It's just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking of, like, old antique furniture. And then sitting on top of it is, like, a ripe orange. Uh, and then in the orange, you have, like, cloves pushed into the skin. So that the juices are actually coming out of the skin, if that makes sense. And that, that whole scenario is what this fragrance smells like to me. And there, there's probably a lot more to it. Maybe some like, like anise or something. Not sure. But it's definitely a beautiful, beautiful fragrance that I hear no one talk about. I just think it's an amazing fragrance from an amazing house from MDCI. From what I have tried from MDCI, 
I have been really, really impressed by their fragrances. So they're a little hard to find. That's the problem with this, with this house where I'm from. But yeah, I just think it's beautiful. Les Indies Galants by MDCI. Okay, let's go into the next one. This is the one. Oh, this is Oud Satin Moon... Oud Satin Mood Extract de Parfum. I'm going to skip that one because I think I talked about that on my channel a few times or more than a few times already. This one. Okay. So this is Queer Ottoman from Parfum de Empire. Uh, I have tried this before as well. I already say that this is a beautiful fragrance, a leather fragrance. I like the name Queer Ottoman. So I'm thinking like the Ottoman Empire or like an Ottoman couch from long, long time ago. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful leather fragrance. And it honestly reminds me of those like leather couches from, I'm not sure which era, but they're like, they have those rivets in them. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but they're very like a regal royal couch. Like as if like a king or queen would be sitting it sitting in it like an old fashioned royal couch. I do smell a little bit of tobacco in here as well. So if you can imagine like this person of royalty sitting on their big leather couch and they're also smoking pipe cigar. No sweetness in here whatsoever, just a straight up leather and tobacco fragrance that, like, it's not overly leathery or overly tobacco-ish. It's like they blend together as if, like, the fumes or the smoke from the cigar has been, like, absorbed into the leather couch. That's what this smells like. It's absolutely gorgeous. Probably in my top five leathers of all time if I were to make a list and maybe I would do that sometime, but Queer Ottoman by Parfums the Empire is a beautiful beautiful Definitely unisex and Definitely something to try out if you're looking for a new leather fragrance to try Okay, let's do another one We're two for two so far Next one is this one. So this is Golden Rolly. And this is from the House of Abel. And uh, the House of Abel is a fragrance house that uses only natural organic uh, ingredients. So let's see. I have tried this once before. I don't remember anything about it. So let's see how it is. Mmm. Oh. Okay, I don't smell the neroli that you would smell in... For example, Neroli, Neroli Portofino. To me, this smells more like a creamy citrus without the sweetness. Although there is some sweetness in here. Yeah, it's a creamy, like lemony citrus. And very, very, very creamy. It's not the kind of Neroli that I'm used to because every time I smell Neroli, I always... Uh, automatically think of Neroli Portofino as like my bench benchmark Neroli fragrance. Yeah, this is more about a thick creaminess that comes first. And then you realize that that creaminess smells like a lemony citrus that isn't tart or sharp or zesty. It's more like creamy, like a, um, like a cream, like a lemon cream. Yeah, it's quite, it's not really super strong. I don't know how it wears on the skin, but I have tried others from this house and they have lasted very long on me, especially the Grey Vetiver. And there's another one. Oh, I don't remember what it is, but yeah, this is really nice. The one thing that sticks out most is that creaminess. I keep on, I keep on mentioning that, but that is the most noticeable thing about it. A creamy citrus lemon that isn't overly sweet and definitely wow I need to test this on skin to see how it is but I, I do like this 
So we're three for three so far. I would be concerned about the longevity on this one because already it's quite light on the paper. So I'm not sure how it behaves on skin, as I said, but that's something to try out if you're looking for a, maybe a natural version of a citrus fragrance that isn't like typically citrusy. All right, so the next one is this one. So this is from the House of Montel, and it's called Arabians, and it's not showing up. I have tried this one before as well, one time on live stream on my Oda Cupcakes channel with Andrew, but now I forgot what it smells like. <laughs> and there's a police siren. Can you hear that? <laughs> okay. Wow. It does have that Montal-esque thing. You know how Guerlain has the Guerlainade and Tower has Towerade? This this has that Montal-aid that I smell in every single Montal fragrance, which is kind of, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like an oily, metallic-y kind of smell that I'm not particularly a fan of. Um, yeah, this is like a spicy oud in a nutshell. And I do get this like this oily character in it, like like a sticky oily kind of thing. It's quite thick. It's quite strong. No idea what the notes are in here, but I'm gonna guess there's like a spicy, like a clove or cinnamon or something like this. Something in that realm of spices along with a touch of oily oud. Maybe some orange or orange peel or something. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I just haven't been wowed by any Montel fragrances as of yet. The, the sweet vanilla is pretty good. Because that one doesn't give me that Montel aid in it. Um, but this one, yeah, it's like a, a weird texture, oily, spicy, thick sticky spicy oud that's not like super super oudy as a lot of the Montel fragrances are it's way back way in the background this is more about spices probably some musk or something like that and not really impressed by that one but um interesting if you were a Montel fan for sure interesting I think Montel is a house where people either love or hate and I just honestly haven't found anything that uh, from the House of Montal that I would like to own yet. Okay, we have done four. Let's do one more before this video gets too long. Let's talk about this one. Okay, so this is from the House of Liquid Imaginaires, and this is called Dom Rosa. Um, I have tried it again. Like this one is before. Sorry, I have tried this one before, and I actually really like this fragrance. It is a fragrance that doesn't get a lot of talk in the community, which is good, I think, because <laughs> once one person talks about something and hypes it up, then everyone starts to do that, which is kind of entertaining. But I kind of like talking about those hidden gems that no one really talks about or have not many people talk about, and this is definitely one of them, Dom Rosa. Ah, it's like a woody, rosy, citrus fragrance. It has like a very nice, zesty, bubbly feel. I believe there's some wine, like sparkling wine or sparkling bubbly champagne in here. So you get that really nice uplifting bubbly kind of character in here that makes it almost like a light um, spring summer fragrance, although you can wear it year round, I think. But yeah, it's beautiful. And the imagery that I'm having is a sparkling glass of cold champagne. In it you would have a one pink rose in it because there is a rose in here and you can smell the florals and it's sitting on like a big plank of wood uh, and then you can just picture like you can just picture that champagne just bubbling in the air because it's so cold and it just it's so refreshing this fragrance yeah it's beautiful. Really, really gorgeous fragrance. I actually 
have tried most from this house from Liquid Imaginaires and I'm I don't know why not a lot of people talk about it. I have talked about one before in a, in a video that one was um, Bloody Wood and I have made a video about it when I it was called uh, the wackiest fragrance I've ever tried or something like that because it is really interesting and I think that um, if you want to challenge your nose to different to something different Liquid Imaginaires they just have beautiful challenging interesting scents. Um, they are very very expensive but I think they have like a discovery set that you can try but yeah this is gorgeous beautiful beautiful woody citrusy floral very unique and very it has just a lot of personality especially because I can when I smell this I can actually feel like myself sipping a glass of champagne yeah so yes, Dom Rosa Liquid Imaginaires. Okay guys, so that will be my video today. I was, I feel so much better talking about these fragrances that actually do something to me, that make me feel something, that make me inspire me or just make, put a smile on my face and put images in my mind other than just like Lady Musk and Broxin and all that stuff that you smell <laughs> uh, in a lot of designer fragrances so I was really happy to share you guys with you guys my thoughts on these fragrances if you guys have tried any of these let me know in the comments below I'd love to hear your feedback on what you think of these and I will be back with more videos soon take care guys bye